Welcome back to Music with Ryan. Thanks for joining me. I'm, of course, Ryan, and this week's featured lesson is a traditional bluegrass tune, Catfish John, as you just saw and heard there. And I know this tune best uh, from listening to Olden in the Way, Jerry Garcia, David Grism, uh, Vassar Clements, and Peter Rowan, of course. Great band, probably my favorite bluegrass band. And uh, yeah, I created a it, probably an intermediate arrangement combining elements of the Carter style along with some bluegrass flat picking elements as well, kind of mushed them all together in, in different spots. So, and I got an arrangement for the verse and the chorus, so the whole tune, 32 measures. And if you'd like to check out purchasing the full length version, is this just a preview here, what you're watching, you click the link above or down below and it shoots you over my website and there you can purchase that full length video. It'll be about 40 minutes, over 40 minutes of video, come with PDF tabs and five backing tracks to work your speeds up. Kind of, I've got some uh, much more quality backing tracks these days and various speeds and they play for longer. So that's pretty cool. Um, if you really like the way I teach, approach learning, enjoy my song selection, I encourage you to, there's another link down or up above or down below, depending on where you're watching. Uh, for my memberships and for a monthly or a yearly fee, you can access my whole library. I got over 230 lessons at the site, add a new one each week. I got a beginner's course, rhythm course. Um, so you can check out all that instruction when you have a moment. If you feel like you want to up your game and become a member. For now, we're going to go ahead and start walking through this lesson uh, a couple measures at a time. We'll bring the camera on in. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. All right, so let's go ahead and break down Catfish John here in the key of G. And uh, remember, any markets in the bottom of staff, pick directions, follow those closely. Any markets on the top of the staff, any uh, little, like littler numbers, there are, will be your left hand fingering, okay? And this is in the key of G, but it starts on the C chord, okay? It starts on the four chord. So don't be confused, but you know, it's in the key of G. We're just kind of starting the melody, the tune out on the C chord, okay? So here it is, here's the first few measures. So one, two, three, four, one, two. Do that again, two, ready, go. And I'm gonna end on the uh, first beat of the fourth measure, open D to kind of complete that phrase. That's over the C chord there. So what I got going on here is a little double stop to open it up, had, um, starting on beat two. So the, the vocal line comes in before the downbeat on the C chord, okay? Uh, I'm sorry, it starts on beat three. Um, so yeah, the, but there's a pickup. And I'm gonna do a little double stop thing. I'll be doing this throughout the piece. Um, third fret B, fourth fret G. You see your one and two, you use your first and second finger. And you see it slides down to one and two, okay? And there's a slur on it, so I'm gonna pick once and get both of those notes. You could certainly pick this twice, but I kinda like it. And then it's one and zero. So um, some double stops there, playing two notes together at one time. So three and four, one and two, and then one and zero. I'm gonna be doing that a lot. So again, the quarter notes are not eighth note slides or anything like that. So three, four, one. Three, four, one. And then I'm gonna strum the C. Then zero two hammer on the D. Open G. First fret B. And you're already there. Okay. Nice little lick on the C chord. Down, down, up. So that together, ready, go. And you kind of, you gotta have a little touch about you to get those double stops to sound just right, um, and not have one string be louder than the other. I mean, maybe I should take that back a little bit. You might want to have some one of the strings be a little bit louder than the other, um, and it can be done. But again, that still takes finesse in itself. 
but um, it does take a little touch. Uh, I'm playing those strings about even. Okay, and I'm harmonizing with the melody, that's kind of why I'm doing it. Kind of like a fiddle would. Um, and then the next measure, I pluck the D string, second fret, you're there. Another strum on the C. And then another zero to hammer on that D. Open G, back to the second fret D. So very little movement in the left hand for these, for the second and third measure. It's that last half there. Three and four and. Let's do all three of the measures now. Ready, go. I had land on an open D there. Sorry, land on an open D. Um, and again, you can pick the first two notes because sometimes it's kind of hard to get a sound on that slide, but you can certainly do it. And, uh, or you could certainly pick um, both chord notes. So it's kind of a little cross picking thing there in measure two. Three and four and one. All three of those one more time. Two, ready, go. So let's move on to the next few measures. 